What's going on, everybody? Gridiron NFL Pick'em 2023. Going to run the same as the last two years, I believe. It's the third year where I was doing it this way. Um, the link will be in the description. I'll even put the passcode in, in case it asks you for it. I deleted all the previous years so nobody can mix up, join the wrong pool, whatever it may be. So there's only one <laughs> this year when you go into it. Uh, same rules will apply for as the previous years that we're playing. You pick the team with point spreads. Most correct picks through the season's first place and so on. There'll be tiebreakers and stuff like that across the board. The winner, I can tell you now, it's a vintage NFL rookie card. Last I checked, the value on it was around 300 so that I'll show the prizes when we get closer towards the end. It'll be for the top three spots, as always. Uh, I'm going to play again. I don't count in anything on to it. So I don't know about midseason yet because I think I'm going a little bit big with the prizes at the end. We'll try to do something midseason. It won't be anything flashy like the end of the season. But uh, definitely will be some cool stuff into it. I, I may play around with more depending on what I can find shows between now and then too so I might swap a couple of the items around I already have placed out right for it but I can tell you the end of the year grand prize unless I find some kind of whopper out there that you know it's like a steal of a deal that I'll use yeah, I can tell you is an NFL rookie vintage from the 70s and the last I looked at it was around 300 uh, I don't see him dropping down. I don't. He might go up, but it's a nice card. We'll just say that. So again, all you gotta do is go in there each week. I'm not gonna have any reminders out there. I may do a little video here and there, just do a little trash talk onto it. But you go in there, you view your pool. This is it here, week one. <laughs> I gotta invite people. There's no players in your pool. I know. <laughs> Keep getting all these alerts onto it. But as you can see, this is week one picks. Detroit plus six and a half, so they're getting six and a half points. Most of you guys know how it goes on to it. Carolina, Atlanta, they're actually favoring Atlanta, which they should on to it. I think Bryce Young is going to be a bust. Sorry if you're a Carolina fan. Cincinnati, Cleveland, Jacksonville, Indy, Tampa, Minnesota, Tennessee, New Orleans, and so far the whole way down to our Monday night game, the Jets. Now, your picks you could change up until the start of the game, just like before. So once that game starts, it blocks us out. You can't make any changes to it. Tiebreakers. So if people would tie at any point were for a giveaway on to it, like if I end up doing midseason, I probably am. Um, unless I find one other card I would use as a first place or maybe possibly second place card. We'll see. But anyhow, if there's a tiebreaker, we go by... The Monday night score, most points, you know, total score, whoever's closer hits it. If they both tie on it, we move to the next one, Dallas versus uh, uh, the Giants, which is your Sunday night one. And then finally, if that's still a tie, we go to the highest scoring team. So make sure you fill these out each week. Uh, kind of gives a little bit of bragging rights because you'll get to see who is top each week, how many people are like the top person each week, all kind of stuff if you go into the, all the analytics onto it. But it's kind of cool. I don't know if anybody's doing any kind of weekly prizes onto it. Um, if they do, they'll probably do so, uh, put something in the chat, and then I'll try to catch it on a video or unless it's by email. I know a couple people did them last year. But that that's, like I said, I'm not asking anybody to do that stuff. That's just people were doing it. Um, for certain weeks on to it. But pretty cool overall. Like I said, first uh, top three at the end of the year with the most correct pick wins. We'll get a prize. I'll get those mailed out to you. I give you guys 30 days usually from the time a contest ends to give me your address. I don't get it. Then we forfeit it. And if I feel that the card may go down, we'll sell it and put the money towards the next year type deal. Stuff like that there. Or we'll just use it in the next year's prize. Something like that. But after 30 days, that, that's a long time to, you know, get with me on to being a winner. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, this is the stats page. You guys can see that there. It'll just tell you how many weeks they've won. Weeks played. All that stuff across the board. 
there's results, which is just like this. It'll have all the little, if you make it right, I think it colored it in or something last year in green. Um, you guys can send direct messages, all that stuff onto it. So again, I'll put the link to it in the description. Underneath it, I'll put the passcode just in case you guys need it. But it's really simple, the passcode. I mean, all it does is get you into the uh, the gridiron games themselves. But if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to hit on the video. I'll try to answer the best I can on to it. But I figure it'd be mostly all the same people that were in it before. I'll come back and play. We might get a couple extras that come into it. But same rules as always, you're using the points each week. You have up to the start of the game to change your picks around, because I know there's always going to be issues with who's starting and stuff like that. Um, and we'll play it out through the whole year, all the weeks. I'll probably do a couple videos throughout the time just showing who's on top, you know, stuff like that, just so you get a little bit of bragging rights onto it and that. Um... Mid seat, and then well, for the final, I'll probably look at like week somewhere between week 13 and 15. I'll show you guys what the prizes are. Um, on to it, I like to try to keep them a little bit of mystery up until that point. Mm, trying to think, I think that was everything I covered into the rules itself. Only one per you can only have one account on here, so I mean, you can't be like, oh, this is me, my wife, my three kids, my dog, my aunt and uncle type deal. Don't be doing that stuff. Uh, cause you have to register with your email and I'll get to see the emails on to it. I, we never had that issue in the past, but I'm just throwing it out. Just, you know, one entry per person type deal. Just don't be trying to register your, like your two year old kid onto it. Something crazy like that. But I think that is everything into the rules I've covered throughout the video onto it. Um, I'm ready to play. Ready to play some gridiron games again this year with you guys. Again, if you see me anywhere in the standings, I just don't count. I just do it just to keep myself occupied and have some fun on to it. Maybe if I know you well enough, I talk a little smack on the phone and stuff like that. But that is it, guys. Again, if you have any questions on, hit in the comments section. Otherwise, go ahead and join up. Week 1 will be starting uh, the 9th. The 9th starts uh, Thursday night games. So that weekend here, I believe is the weekend after the Burbank show if I were no yes yeah, the weekend after Labor Day yeah I had to think here Woo! yeah yeah so it's the weekend after Labor Day I'm all messed up with my dates right now and stuff on to here so I believe this is the week after the Burbank show because this week would be the 20 something then we go into the, the First-ish goes into Labor Day weekend. So, yeah, it'll be the week after the Burbank show. So everybody should be able to get their stuff in. You guys can pick it out the whole way and make changes the whole way. Uh, I forgot to say that at the beginning anyhow. You can go through each week if you want to do your picks early. Just remember, make sure you check them each week type deal. And just because you have one or two, start off with, like, three bad weeks. Don't mean you can't tear it up the rest of the time. I've seen people make huge jumps uh, towards the end. I've seen a lot of people have huge losses at the end on this stuff. All right, guys. I'm out. Been blabbing a little bit too long on this. Let's get Gridiron going. See you later.